Hey folks, it's Andrew here, and today I'd like to tell you about the D107 Dual Slew. This is a dual slew limiter that takes an input signal and makes an output signal and lets you adjust how fast that signal tracks, uh, the output tracks the input. Very typical uh, circuit for doing things like portamento, uh, there's other uses as well, uh, but basically you can just slow a signal down. Um, this is the traditional sort of sweep of a pitch, you know, as you press a key that's, uh, you know, a few octaves higher than another key, and it will slowly transition across, and this is a really simple circuit. You can see it only has four jacks and two pots, two little dual op amps, and some handful of other circuits. So I'm going to give you a little uh, look at the schematic and try to explain how it works. So we've got two identical circuits here. These are the, basically exactly the same. Power comes in here. We've got some diodes to protect it from uh, wrong connections. And we've got two little filter caps here. And then each of the op amps has uh, some bypass caps from each of the power supplies to ground. So everything just runs on plus and minus 12 volts. That's basically all there is to it. A signal comes in here. There's an input termination because this op amp here is running in a, in a, in a unity gain uh, buffer application. You always have to terminate uh, the signal here. If you let this be floating, it will go to the rails and make the output not what you want. So this is a little 100K terminator here, doesn't draw much current, and then it goes through a 1K resistor into the input of this amplifier. This produces a strong signal that's buffered and goes through this 100 ohm resistor into this pot. This is a really large value, it's a 250K linear pot. And what that does is that charges or discharges these pair of, of uh, 10 microfarad capacitors. These are polarized capacitors, but I've put them back to back so that they can become a non-polarized capacitor. Notice that the negative sides are connected together. You can connect the positive sides together as well, but you're only going to get half the capacitance here. But it will be able to take a positive or a negative voltage in. And notice it's connected to the also, again, non-inverting input of a TL082, which is a JFET type, so this draws literally no current. Almost literally no current. It's, it's literally gig ohms of input impedance. And this buffers the signal to produce the actual output. So what happens here is no matter what signal you put in, you're going to get a strong output from here, which is going to go through this re uh, variable resistor and charge this capacitor. This is set up like just a, a single variable resistance. Notice that the wiper is tied back to one side, and that's going to make an RC circuit of, the, uh, of which you can adjust the time constant using this pot. The, the C is always fixed, that's these two capacitors in series, but the R is variable, and you, so that means you can change the time constant here, and I've just chosen these values from some experimentation to give a good range of control from uh, pretty short. Obviously if this was at zero, this would charge up as quickly as it could charge through this small 100 ohm resistor. I've just put this resistor here to prevent there being too much capacitive loading directly on the output of here. And uh, then if you turn this up all the way, there's going to be 100 ohms in series with 250k ohms used to charge and discharge these capacitors. And that's going to make them take a long time because these are quite large value. And then the output signal at this node, which is the output between the R and the C, is essentially just sampling this voltage. You can think of it as just looking at that voltage. It's not actually taking any current from here. So this should be able to to just, you know, be very, very long and there's almost no current flowing through here. And all that does is it takes a voltage sample there and it buffers the output and feeds it to the to the jack. And this, this resistor here, this 100 uh, K ohm, just means that when this circuit is off, this will be properly terminated to ground. And the second channel is exactly the same as the first channel. And this is a really, really simple circuit. This is essentially what's in most slew uh, limiters or portamento circuits. There's Obviously, there's different things you could do with it, depending on which kind of pot you use. You can change how it responds and so on. But this is a really simple and super useful circuit.